Uh, what's up, everybody? You already know, it's your boy, Tope Master. Back again for another lovely Cuban Thursday. I know I've been missing for a couple of weeks, but like I told y'all in my last video, <clears throat> something was going to take the back burner with my recent fitness journey that I've been on. Just had to slow back on these a little bit. Let me back this camera up a little bit. There we go. But I am enjoying a Hoyo de Monterey Siri Le Hoyo. I've had this for about four years, maybe. I got one more left. And it's just as phenomenal as I remember it to be. It's a bigger ring gauge than what I usually partake in, but nonetheless, it's still good. I am also enjoying, it's my first time having this, some George Dickel bottled and bond. I've heard many, many, many good things about this, and it was a, it's apparently a very hard to find bottle. I've had it for about seven months, and I just now am getting around to cracking it. Um, I wasn't necessarily looking for it when I got it, but I happened to see it while looking for something else, and I went ahead and bought it. I think it was about maybe 30, 40 bucks, something like that. I can't remember. But it is damn good, though. I tell you that. But I also haven't had a cocktail drink or whatever in probably two weeks, something like that. So it's got a really good sweet note to it. And it's going very well with this cigar. Very well. Mosquitoes is acting crazy out here today. It ain't even that warm out here. And they getting me. But at least there's no bees for now. But what's everybody been up to, man? I hope everybody's doing good. I've been doing just fine, just fine. I, um, I've lost about, I'd say about eight pounds since the last time I made a video here. So... You know, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Um, I don't really have... much to chit-chat about today. <laughs> but I just thought that I would jump out here and make this video. Let everybody know I'm still around. Enjoying myself. Enjoying life. Um, I'm going to drop a link down to my fitness channel. And you can see a lot of the stuff that I've been up to. I got a couple of meal prep videos on there. Um, I record about 90% of my workouts. Um, it's a lot of shorts of me dancing. Because one thing I do in between sets to keep my heart rate up, to kind of get through the pain, I just kind of dance. And the music that I listen to, there's always a song playing that I can do my thing to, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, it's been fun. I've been enjoying myself. It may not look like I've lost a lot of weight. That's because I've been hitting the weights hard. I just started implement, implementing more cardio over the last week. And so I'm still lifting just as heavy. So I've been putting on a lot of mass as much as I've been cutting all this jiggly shit. And I'm mean, like I said, man, I'm enjoying myself, I'm having fun. Um, I'm, I'm uh, trusting the course, embracing the madness, and controlling the negative in my life. Trying to control all the negative aspects from my eating habits to um, my support team. Um, not nothing's negative about my support team, but in some cases, I am the support for other people. And uh, I don't always get it back, which is fine. You know, I'm not really tripping, but it can tend to kind of throw you off a bit because you find yourself pouring into more people and not getting your cup refilled. But I'm a man, so I don't need pats on the backs and praises and things of that nature. But it does 
warm my heart when people tell me, oh man, I admire what you're doing. You know, um, I need to get myself out there to do the same. And I just tell them, you know, you'll do it when you're ready. That's just that simple, you'll do it when you're ready. Uh, talking about it, you know, I did it for a long time too. You know, I talked about seeing my friends and people on, online in the gym. I'm like, man, I need to be doing that. Or if it's somebody I know, damn man, I like what you're doing, man. I need to be coming to the gym fucking with you. And I never did. And just one day I woke up and was like, you know, I don't like what I see. So what am I gonna do to fix it? So I just went in, started trying to do what I could. And I over overexerted myself because I went in thinking this was not necessarily gonna be easy, but let me go, I'm used to lifting heavy weights, you know, so let me go in here and start throwing these weights around like it's nothing. And I ended up injuring myself and all kinds of things like that. So I sat back and I devised a plan. And every day, every week, I go back at the plan. I look at the scale, what it's done for the week. I look at what I've been doing and see if I need to change anything, implement anything, add anything, subtract anything. I need to just make sure that the plan I'm on is working. And I'm also trying to make sure I find something sustainable, something that I can keep on doing. You know, I turned 41 this year. I'm already on the other side, you know what I'm saying? So. I want to make sure that this is something that I can do that can give me more time and I don't fall off. Or if I fall off, it won't be too hard to get back on. So I work out every day for about an hour on the weights and then I do about 30 to 45 minutes on the treadmill. Like I said, the treadmill part is new about the last week or two and I've been doing it steady. Previously, prior to this week and a half, I was doing it maybe once or twice a week. But now I'm doing it after every workout. I work out for a minimum with the weights, one hour. And then I get on the treadmill, uh, depending on how much time I have, because I work out in the morning. Luckily it's at my job, so as long as I'm downstairs by eight o'clock, I'm good. Um, depending on how much time I have, it tells me how much cardio I can do, because I still got a shower, you know, change my put my clothes change out of my gym clothes put my regular clothes on and you know make sure i get downstairs and so far i've, I've been doing all right i go to bed around 8 8 30 and i'm up at four i'm out the house by five i'm to the building by 5 30 5 20 to 5 30 and i'm in the gym i'm stuck by 5 45 i started so that gives me to 6 45 to work out and then from about 6.50 to about 7.15, 7.20, I'm on the treadmill. Then I got to hurry up, shower, change my clothes, you know, lotion up or whatever, and go on down. Then I'm good. And so far, it's working out. You know, I got some days where I don't go to sleep as early as I should. But I am asleep by 9.30, 10 o'clock every night. But I notice a change in my body and how I feel when I wake up when I don't get that seven, seven and a half hours of sleep. So, like I said, every day I'm working, every day I'm trying something new, every, time, every day I'm just, you know, trying to critique myself and make sure I get myself situated. And so far, so good. Mm. This goddamn cigar is fantastic, man. It's a little windy out here, so I got a bit of a janky burn going, but it's not really affecting how I smoke at all. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and holler at y'all for a minute, quick little video, about 10 minutes. And I'll uh, let y'all know I'm good. I'm still working at it. I'm still doing my thing. And uh, yeah, hope everybody's well. Hope everybody is uh, pursuing their dreams or doing something that's gonna get them somewhere. Shout out to the Retro Hell. Um, Brett and Mark, I really wish those guys could get back together, man. Like in the same space to do their shows. They've been holding it down, though. They've been doing their thing. Uh, Mark still lives in Colorado, and Brett is in like Kansas, like Wichita, I think, something like that. And uh, they do it via Facebook, the uh, phone app on on Facebook. And it, it works out. They they doing their thing. They had they work the bugs out and it's going pretty smooth. They're still able to have um uh guests and stuff on. I gotta get up with them so I can get back on there. 
Um, yeah. Uh, make sure you check them out, man. They, they they air a new episode every Friday. Uh, I, I watch it. I watch, I watch it, but I listen to it on uh, iTunes. So, you know, if you get around to it, I think they're on all the, the apps, I believe. But if not, just look them up on Google, the Retro Hell Podcast, and wherever they are is going to pop up. But I highly suggest it because they be, <laughs> they be, they be doing their thing, man. They funny as hell, man. Absolutely. But I'm going to get on up out of here. Smoke this up. It's now 6.45. At about 7, I'm going to have me a protein shake. And I'm going to be in the bed by 8. Good to go. But, as I always say, stay humble, stay positive. Keep positive people in your circle. And no matter what, reach for the sky, only settle for the top. I'm your boy Toke Master, and I'm gone.